So I wanted to talk about the five most common subclinical magnesium deficiency symptoms, okay? Magnesium is a coenzyme, okay? What does that mean, a coenzyme? It is a helper nutrient for enzymes. Enzymes do all the work in the body. The chemical reactions, the building of tissue, the repairing of tissue are all done by enzymes. And magnesium, other minerals and vitamins and trace minerals are essential. They're essential. Your body needs them or things don't get done. They're like little keys that allow enzymes to work. And magnesium is involved in over 300 enzymes, okay? from energy production to DNA repair, and even preventing mutations that could eventually end up as cancer. It's involved in so many chemical reactions. The problem is that it's very difficult to detect magnesium deficiencies because most magnesium is inside the cell. Just like uh, potassium, for example, it's inside the cell. Sodium is outside the cell, and that's very easy to detect, but magnesium is very difficult. The other point about magnesium is that the RDAs are roughly about 450 milligrams. There are certain groups of people who suggest that we need even more. We need like up to 600 milligrams. But the average person has much less than 450 milligrams. And when you're deficient in magnesium, your calcium automatically starts going up in the body. And we know a lot of people have a problem with calcium deposits, calcium in the soft tissues, not just from a lack of vitamin K2, but it could be from a magnesium deficiency as well. Let's say that you have a certain amount of magnesium. It's not a lot, but it's just a little bit. The body is gonna ration out that magnesium to only essential places, only essential proteins, things that involve present time survival, not long-term repair or even probably preventing a mutation. So here the body is using the magnesium to cope with the daily stresses of life uh, at the expense of a longer life. So if you're deficient in certain nutrients, it can actually shorten your life. And you can have more mutations and less repair in the body. So there's five big clues that you may have a subclinical deficiency of magnesium. Number one is fatigue, because magnesium is involved in creating ATP, which is the energy currency of the body. Number two, cramps, especially at night in the calves, in your feet. Number three, high blood pressure, because without magnesium, you won't have the elasticity in the circulation in the vascular system. So things become hardened, okay? And that's gonna increase the blood pressure. Number four, you become stiff, especially in the morning when you get out of bed. Number five, irregular heartbeat. But potassium is also involved as well. So it could be a combination. So you might have skipped heartbeats and then maybe a palpitation. Then the beat starts becoming irregular. It's just a simple mineral deficiency. So these are the five clues that you may have a magnesium deficiency. So where do you get magnesium, okay? It's at the heart of something called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll makes up the green stuff in leafy green vegetables. So the solution is very simple. Add a very large salad or two medium-sized salads to your day and get enough magnesium and watch these go away. Thanks for watching. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a review, I put a link down below.